Today, bicycling is enjoying a renaissance in Santa Barbara. In just the past 12 years, the number of bicycle commuters in town has more than doubled to nearly 7%, ranking Santa Barbara third nationally for cities our size. But along with increased ridership has come an uptick in accidents. Year to date, there has been an 18% increase in bicycle traffic collisions over the same period in 2013, and that's 29% more than in 2012. Uh, bicycling is growing uh, in, a, in a big way, and our city has a pretty vibrant economy, and so what that makes for um, a really active downtown. The problem with that is, with all the new riders, we have a lot of tourists, we've got a lot of folks that are um, maybe a little unfamiliar with our, our, um, our downtown, and so they might not know all the rules of the roads or all the routes, and sometimes they're distracted as well. The most common one I see is uh, riders riding without any um, visible clothing, against traffic and sometimes on the sidewalk and also many riders don't respect the rule of the road going through stop sign or red light and uh, that gives kind of a bad reputation for all of us bicyclists who, who try to be bike ambassadors. In response to the increase in bicycle related collisions and to improve safety for all road users, the police department with coordination from the Santa Barbara Bicycle Coalition conducted two days of targeted enforcement in the downtown on November 11th and 12th. Uh, the, the most common infractions, uh, which were, was borne out when we were writing the tickets, um, is uh, riding on the sidewalk, uh, riding through the red light, and uh, failing to stop for stop signs. Those would be the, the three top uh, bicycle violations that we come across. Uh, we're mostly trying to uh, affect adherence to existing rules. We're not trying to do anything new or crazy or out of the ordinary, but we have posted speed limits, we've got marked crosswalks, we've got designated bike lanes, and what we want to do is make sure people are just uh, following the, the rules uh, of the road. As a bike rider myself, I thought it would be a good idea to get a refresher on those rules of the road. So I went to bicycle instructor extraordinaire Mike Vergeer of SB Bike. Okay, ready? It turns out the rules for bikes are virtually identical to those for cars. You should have a look at the California Vehicle Code. It's got thousands of items on it about how to drive safely. There are only four or five or so that are specific to bicyclists. The other 5,000 of them are the same for bicyclists as they are for drivers of cars. So the ticket to safe bicycling on the road is to consider yourself a vehicle and behave accordingly. So bicycles have to stop for red lights just as cars do. Bicycles have to stop for stop signs, full and complete stop, just like a car has to do. Uh, a bicycle uh, is not allowed to impede the roadway. A bicycle um, is not allowed to violate pedestrians' right of ways. So any moving violation that you can think of that applies to a car also applies to a bicycle. Thanks to California's new three feet for safety law, drivers must now leave at least three feet of clearance when passing a bicyclist. Three feet is not that much, but at least we, as a cyclist, it's very disturbing when a car zip by at a feet or two from us. So it's kind of a, a law to make sure that we don't frighten cyclists. Um, it's, it's a curious way of passing cyclists. And that brings us to another key component to safe bicycling, courtesy. Go ahead. Giving respect may not be required by the vehicle code, but it can go a long way in driver-bicyclist relations and getting respect. 